Hello everyone, Twix here with Sexo Gaming, and welcome back to World 2? Wait, this doesn't follow my pattern? Yes, um, given how short Portal was, uh, I, I figured I might as well just go ahead and do Portal 2 as well, because this also isn't that long of a game, but it's longer than the first game, so we're just gonna hop right into the single player. As you can see, my camera is still gone, so you you'll just have to deal with not being able to see me, which probably is a bit more acceptable. I know there's plenty of other YouTubers that don't show their face while recording games, so it's, it's not like I've... You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. That's loud. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. What? There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You yes. You hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. I don't. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Huh, I've got a mini fridge just like this one. Just, you know, different color. And not bolted to the floor. And there's no microwave on top. That's... Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 oh. Nine, 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 Anyone in there? Hello? Are you gonna open the door? At any time? Hello? Are you gonna open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Well, just open the door! Hello, friend! Why not open the door? <laughs> Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo! Abre la puerta! Donde esta... no, um... Fine, no, fine, absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. Is it? All right, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both gonna die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go, you've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Open the door! I kind of want to Hello? see what else he has to say because I'm curious. Hello. How long does this go? Go on. Open the door. Hello. 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 I, I think he's out of anything to just ah. say. Ah. Oh God, you look te um good. Good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get a second. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Oh. Um. Right down there. No. Can you hear me? Most I... test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. 
Uh, you, just, you just jumped. <laughs> but never mind. No, say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please oh. prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh. Oh, okay, dear. Look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still hold um, on? Not great. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on. This is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Um, I can make it through. But probably not. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. No, the dock get station ready. is below. Oh. Right. News, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on oh, this Oh, don't wall. do that, Look please. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, I think I will. This time. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. If I ever end up in a situation where you could be my, I, uh, where you could be the one driving my vehicle, go on, just I would rather walk. You are terrible. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance oh. beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Right. This uh place seems a bit overgrown. But Human very familiar. Based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cost us emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Well, one please while this is loading. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, I come back to that. Um. Uh I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that out of context. Right. Uh, it's been a while since I played Portal 2, but I definitely remember how a lot of the puzzles go. Oh. Ah. Still can see our character model. Great.
It was a camera, but it doesn't look like it's really looking at anything. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. I don't have anything to write with, so... Um, that's not happening. Right, so, I got a bit, when I first heard about Portal 2, like, way, way back, I was very excited. ...governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. Um... Okay, then. Right. Yeah, I was very excited, and, you know, actually hey, genuinely enjoy- Oh, it. it's you. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Uh, yeah, it's not there. All right, no, go on, just have a look about it. I don't like that no, you're telling right. me. Over by the podium, yeah. Why don't you get it? If you just okay, just stand by the podium and just look up. That's it. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. You knew this would happen! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should ask that first. Um, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not. Dead. Well, I'll give him one thing. He seemed to be on something with this being here, so I guess. Two thing two. Who drew all this? Who painted this? Cause this is actually pretty well done. That's spooky right there. Uh, okay, so we just want to go through there, and up here. Is it just me, or are we actually a little faster? In Some emergency game? testing oh. may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. What? <laughs> Why are we having to deal with military androids? I mean, I've got a this gun, but it's... This is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. So much for the smooth jazz. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Thanks. Implying that there's compliments that aren't deserved. Hmm. Unreason. Hmm. Yeah, so a lot of these are just kind of puzzles from the first game. 
you know, probably just to get you familiar. But make sure you remember how to play. Because still the puzzles are a bit more complicated later. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Alright, so this is a new test. Oh, I see. Ah. There we go. Got it. It's been a while since I've played Portal 2, but I, I seem to still remember how things work. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. That's not very many volts. That's extremely power efficient, so good on Aperture for that. These short load times are great. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> I love that line. There we go. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Aha, uh -huh. we'll see. Man, this place was really let go after, uh... After what I did. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. What if there's, like, no one else? Then what? To yeah. ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure any safety systems that were, would be active anyway... Oh, brilliant! Yeah. The portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Do you even know what you're saying half the time? Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right? On the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One, 
two, three. That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it? Really, that. All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me! Catch me! Catch! Ow! Ow! I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed What stick? Oh, that one. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? What if I don't wanna? What are you gonna do about it? I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> I, d I can't do it if you're watching. If you just turn around. I'm not looking. What's that behind you? It's only a robot on a bloody stick. A different one. Hmm. Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. What I open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. Oh, come on. Pick, would you pick me up? <laughs> would you pick me up? Hey, pick me up. <laughs> pick me up. Don't forget to pick me up. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. This Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. I would have just left you there if the door would let me. But it wouldn't open unless I picked you up. So, here we are. Staring at each other. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. I'm going to okay. make eye, talk, keep eye, keep eye contact. Moving. Hi. Are you? Good talk. Oh, yeah. It, it's kind of hard for me to get much commentary in early on because it's talking. The narrator, the ball, which. By the way, is we right now? In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A: sit here, do nothing. Option B: go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Um. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Huh. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. Wow. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch him. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? You know yes, what? it is. Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though. So you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note, no braces on your spine, either, so so don't land on that. Um, or your head, no braces there. That could that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, You're not helping. So do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Can I, quick question, have you been working out? Because, I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not, I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force, so a uh, bit, of, bit of grip. Just using grip, classic grip. Right, let's go. Jump! What's the worst that could happen? Oh, oh, I just thought about the worst thing that could happen there. Oh, I just thought of something even worse. Better plan, a new plan. No imagining of any potential outcomes whatsoever, okay? Just just jump. Just jump into the into the abyss and, and see what happens. Oh, it's still there. It's still in my head. 
I wonder if it'll let me... Oh, no, it won't let me drop him. Darn. I would have loved to be able to just drop you. And see what you do about that. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the great. We're all fine. That's tremendous. That would have been funny ah, to be able to just sorry, drop him. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. I'll be really honest. I like this, this character. Is the main breaker room? Let's go in. No. Okay, fine. See, I like this character. He's hilarious, but I just am having fun. Just look for a switch that says escape pod. Just being kind no, of a don't jerk. Don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod, but as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else, look at the next thing, alright? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. These levers aren't Can labeled. see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Uh, the lights actually, the lighting's actually fine, it's just none of these have labels. Well, let there be light. That's, uh, God. Quoting God. Yes. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. Uh. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. Alright, stop panicking. Oh, uh, no. I can, I can still stop this. Um. Oh, hey! Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A A A A A. Um. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I want out! Wait, did I do beat the German pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right. New plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh, now, see, it wasn't anything no, personal. No, you were just no, kind of... No, no, no. Okay. ...trying to kill me first. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. I didn't say a word. I think we can oh. put differences behind us. For science. You monster. I was mute the entire time. Well, I will say though that since you, you went to all the trouble you of get waking me up, you must really, really love to. Don't taste. put me in the incinerator. Oh, it, it seems kind of cold. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. I'm glad you're well aware that I have those long fall boots. You are aware that I have those boots, right? Right. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The I... evil portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. I only threw four parts of you down the incinerator, for the record. And by all rights, that fall should have killed me. By all rights. Oh, well that's nice. Hello? Oh! Oh! There it is. Hold on. How could you see anything that's down here? Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. There is! But I'm going to be saving that 
for next episode, because we're at that point where I'd like to stop. This is a good stopping point when we just get this thing. So, I will see you guys later. Bye.